Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to kind of show you uh, a quick way to factor a trinomial. But when I say kind of quick way, I'm not going to go through, I'm not going to do it very quickly, but I'm going to kind of show you the thinking process that you'd want to use to be able to do this quicker um, for more and more. Because I, previously, I've showed a lot of videos you know, on how to take your time and get the right answer, which works perfectly. Um, but a lot of times, especially when you're trying to do multiple of these, and, and once you get enough practice, you can kind of step up now um, into just kind of doing a lot of the operations in our head. So we need to factor out, we need to factor this trinomial, write it as a product of its two factors. And always when I see that there's an A, I'm like, ah, I don't want to use this method. Um, the AC method just takes more time. So I always want to see, can I factor out that four? And unfortunately, four is not a um, di divisor, or you cannot divide. Um, a factor of 9. So therefore, I can't factor it out. So I'm going to have to um, work this. Now, previously, when we were um, factoring trinomials, when there wasn't a 4 there, we knew that the two factors had to start with x times x, right? Because x times x gave us x squared. Well, now that's a 4x. I need to say, well, x times x does not give me 4x squared, right? So I have kind of two options here. And this just makes this problem even so much more great. I could do 2x times 2x, or I could do 4x times x, right? Those are my two kind of options. And if you have any other number as um, in front of here, then you, you know, let's say it was like 12. Well, then you'd have a lot of different options, right? So mentally, all right, I'm thinking, OK, so these two numbers have to uh, multiply to give me 4x. And then remember, they also have to multiply to give me 9, these last two numbers. So remember, if they're multiplying to give me 9, one factor has to be positive, one factor has to be negative, which is even making this even better. So let's write down the factors of negative 9. I could do negative 9 times 1. I could do positive 9 times negative 1. I could do um, negative 3 times 3. And it really doesn't matter which one's negative because um, they're the same number. So. To think about this, to go through my thinking process, what I'm going to do now is say, all right, well, remember when we got the pretty much the last two terms covered in, right? And you could use guess and check if you like to. Um, but now we want to say is, well, what two numbers are going to multiply to give me my out, you know, to when I combine are going to give me a positive 9x. Now, when I'm thinking through this, um, since they're going to add to give me a positive, I know that the larger of the numbers has to be negative, right? So I see that this is not going to work, negative 3, positive 3, because this would be like a difference of two squares, right? Um, this would just probably, it's 2x times 2x, that gives you negative 9. But when you combine these, that's, they're going to give you the exact same answer. So it's going to give you 0x, right? We need to get 9x. So then I'd look and say, all right, well, then the only other option it could be is positive 9 and negative 1. And again, it doesn't matter which way you put them in there. So we know that, again, the first and the last give us our two values. But what about the inner? So here I'd have negative 2x, and here I'd have positive 18x. Well, unfortunately, they do not combine to give us 9x. So therefore, the 2x does not work. So then I look over to the x, and I say, all right, well, um, let's try positive 3 and negative, um, negative 3. And the reason why I'm putting the the reason why I put the positive over here is because remember, I got to multiply 4x four, four times 3, and I want the larger number to be positive. I don't want to multiply it by a negative, because then the larger 4x times negative 3 will be larger right, than 3 times x. And I want the larger number to be positive. So 4x times 3 is 12x. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And do they combine to give me a positive 9x? Yes, they do. So guess what? Ding, ding, ding. I have now determined our solution. We can do it much quicker next time. Thanks.